this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I will be speaking about great circle sailing. Great circle sailing using the different spherical triangle formula. Right? Uh, let us take a simple case that you are going from one place to other place and uh, say initial position 24 degrees north, 140 degrees east and then final position say 44 degrees north 150 degrees west so initial course is 51.7 degrees final course is 0 95 degrees and the great circle distance is 59.51 multiplied by 60 so uh, this is how a great circle sailing a simple great circle sailing question can be done now we can also find out the initial course and final course we can also find out the initial course and final course without finding out the great circle distance. Let us see how we do it. So for that, uh, we have to use the four-part formula. And four-part formula means, uh, you know, in a spherical triangle, there are three sides and three angles, right? Sides are uh, neighbored by angles and vice versa. If we know three consecutive parts, that means three parts in succession, then we can find out the fourth neighbor part on either side and that is a four part formula. So it is very very important that three parts in continuous succession should be known. Right? So uh, let us say we don't know the great circle distance. We don't know the great circle distance. right? And we have to find out the initial course. Uh, initial course is 51.7 and final course is 0.95. So let us say we don't know the initial course, we don't know the final course, okay? And we want to find out the initial course without finding out the great circle distance. Now we know this side as 66 degrees, we know this angle as 70 degrees, we know this side as 46 degrees, we have to find out what is this angle. So we know the three parts in succession and we want the fourth neighbor how to find out that fourth neighbor out of these four parts we can say that this is outer angle this is inner side this is inner angle and this is outer side so uh, the formula which connects all which relates all of them is cot outer side sine inner side is equal to cot outer angle sine inner angle plus cos inner side cos inner angle so once again cot outer side sine inner side is equal to cot outer angle sine inner angle plus cosine of inner side cosine of inner angle you have seen that in this formula everything is plus there is no negative and we rearrange the formula sine inner side divided by tan outer side is equal to sine inner angle upon tan outer angle plus cos inner side cos inner angle so that gives me sine of inner side means sine 66 divided by tan outer side that is tan of 46 degrees is equal to sine 70 upon tan outer angle plus cos inner side cos 66 into cos so I will write the values as much as I can sine 66 degrees divided by tan 46 degrees that makes it 0 0.8822 0 0.8822 equal to sine 70 upon tan outer angle plus cos 66 degrees into cosine of 70 degrees that makes 0 0.13911 0 0.13911 uh, if I take 0 0.13911 on the other side let us see what happens minus 0 0.8822 that gives me 0 0.74309 0 0.74309 is equal to sine 70 divided by tan outer angle 
that is A. So tan A will be sine of 70 degrees divided by 0 0.74309. Shift tan gives me 51.66 that means 51.7 degrees. So A I get as 51.7 degrees. So I've got the initial course as 51.7 degrees using the four part formula. Once again, I will explain you four part formula. I know these three parts in uh, uh, continuous succession. The fourth on the neighbor can be angle A. So I can relate all these three, right? So this becomes outer angle, this becomes outer side. This becomes inner angle, this becomes inner side. So cot of outer side, sine inner side, equal to cot of outer angle, sine inner angle, plus product of cosine of inner parts. So that is how you can remember it and simplifying what I get is angle A equal to 51.7 degrees. Now we will find out angle B using the four part formula again. So once again we have 66, 70 and 46 as three continuous part known to me and this becomes angle B as unknown. This is outer angle. This becomes inner side and this becomes outer side. This remains inner angle. The formula is same. Cot of outer side sine inner side is equal to cot outer angle sine inner angle plus cosine of inner side cosine of inner angle. Simplifying I get sine inner side upon 10 outer side etc. When I substitute the values sine of inner side is sine 46 degrees tan of outer side that becomes tan 66 degrees equal to sine of inner angle that is sine 70 upon tan of outer angle that is tan of B plus cosine of inner side cosine of inner angle that is cos of 46 cos of 70. Writing the values for these uh, left hand side is sine 46 degrees equal to divide by tan 66 degrees gives me 0 0.32027 0 0.32027 plus equal to sine 70 upon tan b plus that is cos 46 degrees into cos 70 degrees 0 0.23759 0 Two three seven five nine. Taking it on the left hand side gives me 0 0.08268 and therefore tan B equal to sine 70 divided by 0 0.08268. So sine 70 degrees divided by 0 0.08. 8268 gives me the angle B as 84.97 approximately 85 degrees. So this angle is 85 degrees. If this angle is 85 degrees and the course is measured from north meridian clockwise till the ship's head that means the outer angle is 95 degrees. So final course is 95 degrees is confirmed with a four part formula also. So I have showed you how to find out the initial and final course with great circle distance by uh, cosine formula and how to find out the initial course and final course without finding out the distance using the four part formula right so uh, i hope you have understood both the formula well now what we will do is we will try to see one of the great applications of this four part formula saving time and uh, that is to find out the waypoints when you do the great circle course.